Ah, the dollar, the currency that we love to hate and we hate to love, but it is measuring a certain precious metal in a big way today. It has skyrocketed in price. And honestly, I'm a very surprised and part of me really can't believe it. We're gonna find out what metal that is and what the reason behind the big surge in the price today as we explore. Yeah, the currency we love to hate. Well, we'll set that aside for now. You're probably wondering which metal exploded in price today. Is it this one? Nope, it didn't surge in price. Silver, in fact, right now, moments before the markets close, is down marginally. It is the only metal that is actually down today. Silver's price is down two cents to $33.74 today. So this is not the metal that's surging in price, for sure. It is not exploding. But what about gold? Well, gold did go up today, but it only went up a little bit, at least in comparison to what it has been doing in the past. It's up uh, about three quarters of a percent today, up $20.80 measured in these dollars right now to $2,736.60, essentially trying to recover some of the losses that we saw yesterday. So that metal did not explode in price, even though it did go up. Well, what do we have left? Well, we've got platinum here, and platinum, I think, has some potential to continue to increase in price. Uh, it is up uh, about the same amount of gold by percentage numbers. It's up 0.79, almost eight-tenths of a percent point today, up $8 to $1,036 per ounce. But that is not the metal that has exploded today. It is palladium. That's right. This is the, the precious metal that has skyrocketed in price today, up 9%. Uh, as, I as I record this video, moments before the market's close, I actually just popped up to 9.08%, up $95 today. That's a huge jump. In fact, it was up even more than that. It was up almost 10% earlier in the day. To uh, It's now up to $1,181 an ounce. It got to a high of $1,191 an ounce earlier in the day. Now, this metal right here, palladium, it is something else. What a metal. Now, uh, platinum very well could be falling behind it if what I'm about to share with you does come to fruition uh, in terms of uh, how this is going to play itself out. And I'm going to tell you why I really can't believe it. Um, and, and who knows how long this will last. But Bloomberg News is reporting uh, what's going on with palladium. They have jumped dramatically as the United States is suggesting sanctions on Russian exports. Palladium surged as much as 9.5% after the U.S. asked the group of seven allies to consider sanctions on Russian exports of the precious metal. The Biden administration floated the potential restrictions at a meeting of the G7 finance officials in Washington this week as it mulls fresh ways to squeeze Vladimir Putin's war efforts. Russian MMC Norlisk Nickel PJSC is the biggest producer of palladium, which is mainly used in catalytic converters for automobiles. Norelsk Nickel's press service declined to comment on the matter. While Norsk Nickel accounts for around 40% of global output, the company now sells most of its output to China. According to a person familiar with the situation, it still sells some of the U to the U.S. as no import ban for the metal is currently in place. And that's part of what surprises me. I reported early on as the war effort broke out that I thought there was already sanctions against platinum and palladium that I thought would have a pretty big impact on the prices. It has not. The LBMA, I don't think, will uh, uh, allow any metal to come through its, its, uh, its uh, uh, vaults. But nonetheless, I guess we don't have any sanctions from the United States or against platinum or palladium until this uh, suggestion has come about. F fascinating. Still, sanctions risk having reignited buying activity, according to Daniel Ghali, Senior Commodity Strategist at TD Securities, Commodity Trading Advisor trend followers 
are adding to their palladium bullish positions, he said. Fear is the trade. And this is why it's probably not a good idea to be buying palladium right now uh, with the prices moving up based off of fear. No, indeed. I would not be buying any of it at this moment, uh, for sure. In fact, if you're going to sell, maybe this might be the time to sell some, some palladium if you are of that mindset. I'm not, but that's just me. Uh, shares of the four biggest palladium producers in South Africa, the world's second largest source of the metal, all jumped by more than 10%. One of them, Sabanye Stillwater, recently announced cuts to palladium output at its U.S. mines due to weak prices. So that could keep them from moving towards that brink. We'll see. Palladium has fallen about 37% since the start of last year and almost two-thirds from, from a March 2022 peak, which miners attribute to a subdued global economy and destocking by manufacturers. The possibility of removing Russian palladium from the market may tighten the market as South Africa and the other major producers won't be able to fill the gap, according to Dan Smith, head of research at Amalgamated Metal Trading. Uh, so that is the latest. You know, it's interesting to see how these metals move. And part of what I do on this channel is, is to bring you the latest news in the world of palladium, platinum, as well as gold and silver. In fact, some of you have shared this story with me, uh, or, or a related story, uh, and uh, th most of you know that. Uh, it's what I like to do here. So if you find this content valuable and informative, um, I hope you will consider subscribing to the channel. And maybe press that like button as well, too. It does help the algorithm and get the news out there. Uh, there's a lot to discuss in the world of precious metals, and it's interesting to see what moves the markets for whatever reason. Now, gold has paired gains after the latest data pointed to economic resilience in the U.S., reinforcing bets that the Federal Reserve uh, will may take a measured approach to monetary easing. But it's kind of hard to imagine that, uh, you know, with all the uh, the debt that's being added and the deficit spending that's occurring right now, it's, it's, it's pretty crazy. And we're likely going to see more and more of that occur in the coming uh, months. Uh, and... Rising yields and higher borrowing costs tend to weigh on gold as a metal doesn't pay interest. Uh, so fascinating. So we're seeing palladium trading well above $1,100 right now. Uh, it's a while based off of this news, and we'll see if platinum gets hit next with some of these sanctions, and it could this price could go up even more. But again, I thought for sure there were already some sanctions in place against uh, producers there for platinum and palladium. But I guess, I guess not. But uh, it'll be very fascinating. Now, silver indeed is a metal that uh, Russia is is trying to get a hold of, and I think they want to try to maybe import even even other metals, and they will obviously continue to produce domestically their palladium, uh, of, and to be able to add to their domestic uh, consumption of the metal, and likely they will probably continue to export out into the Asian markets. Of course, the BRICS summit meeting has ended as well, too. I'm going to be reporting on that in another video, so stay tuned for that. But uh, the precious metals continue to see uh, stability in some of the gains that they've witnessed in recent times. You know, I think it's, it's encouraging to see the numbers pretty much go in the green. Obviously, silver is exception today, but it hasn't fallen by a whole lot. Staying above its support, and it just goes to show you that... Uh, if you are a precious metal stacker, and if you have any little, if you have a an inkling of kind of diversification, well, platinum and palladium might be a good bet to consider, especially with what has happened today. If you bought palladium when the price was lower, well below a thousand dollars, well, this is this is a day that the, your holdings will work for you, especially if you want to liquidate. Uh, but even as such, you know, uh, diversification, I think, part and parcel also means holding on, maybe even for bigger gains. But I think probably what's going to happen to palladium is the price is going to subside. This is sort of a knee-jerk reaction, um, I think, as it's not actually occurred yet. But even if it does occur, how much impact will it really have? I don't know. Uh, will South Africa be able to hold up the slack? Will Sabanye continue to produce in, in the Americas to take up that slack? Likely they probably will, because what's hurt them is lower prices. 
Now that the prices are up, well, that means that we'll be able to produce a little bit more and the price may scale back a little bit or at least it'll marginalize some of the increases. We'll find out. Nonetheless, uh, what a fascinating thing and to see a palladium skyrocket. I mean, think about it. Almost 10% in one day is huge for any metal. But uh, the reason why it's not being reported widely is because, well, palladium is a fringe precious metal. It's what I refer to as a fringe precious metal. It is a metal that essentially trades, um, you know, very erratically um, uh, from time to time because it's not really considered a monetary metal, a hedge or anything like that. And there's a lot of speculation in those markets, even though notwithstanding platinum and palladium have been very, very subdued and not very erratic through this latest increase in prices uh, and um, really have held their own. So let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section down below. Hope you found this video informative, insightful, and educational. I would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to each and every one of you for taking the time to watch and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.